Traditionally, Montgomery County parks have been dry zones, no alcohol. But the Parks Department is looking to roll that back. It's all to help restaurants like Denizen's Brewing Company boost business. It's impacted us pretty dramatically. I mean, you know, most of our revenue was from our tap rooms. In August, the county launched Picnic in the Park to encourage neighbors to order food from restaurants to eat in the parks. I can't say we're bailing out the restaurant industry at this point, but we really hope to make a meaningful difference. And we want people in our parks. Parks director Michael Riley hopes that allowing alcohol initially in nine parks near restaurant hubs will give the program a push. He says park police will be keeping an eye on everyone. I'm excited to, to have people be able to drink in the park because it just means it's more potential customers that will come by our beer and uh, take it with them on their picnics. Let's talk about how picnic in the park works. Anyone can go to one of those nine pilot parks throughout Montgomery County, check out one of these signs, scan that QR code, and then pull up a list of restaurants that you can order food and potentially alcohol from delivered to eat right at one of these parks. The planning board votes on the drink directive next week. Denizen's co-founder, Julie Verratti, hopes they pass it and then make it permanent. I think the flexibility that's been created because of COVID is indicative that sometimes these regulations, it's like, what, what was the use of them? People are behaving and having a good time and we're supporting our restaurants. I don't know why we would end it. Jess Arnold, WUSA right. 9.